Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, Guile here and welcome back to the Spring Invitational's grand final exciting stuff. I'm sure you'll agree this is game four guys. If you haven't seen games one to three, please go and check those out now because from here on out today's game will contain spoilers and I really don't want to ruin it for you if you haven't seen the earlier action. They've all taken place on the preceding days from today so go back through the, uh, the history there and check that out on the channel. Uh, otherwise you will probably be upset, disappointed and mad at me and I don't want that to happen quite frankly. Uh, Alright, on today, today's game as we said it's going to be game 4 Nexus looking to claw it back against Tagada who yesterday went up 2-1 there on that game on the ditch with uh, yeah just some pretty dominant play all round. Uh, it's been an interesting set of battles so far, we'll have to see how Nexus can fare going forward. He is the favourite coming into this one, but there really is uh, all to play, play for. It's anybody's game. Uh, it's going to go down today's game on a new map, as far as I'm aware, for Galcast. It's Goodlands. Very exciting. I'm ready. You guys are ready, and the players are sure as hell ready. So let's go on over to the game zone and see how they're going to get on. Ching. Ka-ching. No instant loading for me. I clearly wasn't a good boy this morning. <laughs> <laughs> That's just the way it goes. All right, let's kick off the time as our guys gate in and see how they're going to fare today. Let's start up here at the top. First of all, it's none other than Nexus going Seraphim in his very custom customary, fabulous, vivacious Violet opening first land. And his opponent down here at the bottom leading the grand finals so far. It is Tagada. And he is going Seraphim as well in Burgundy Red opening first land. Interestingly enough, we saw this in game one. It's another Seraphim mirror matchup. And when I focus in on the second player, when they're both Seraphims, I don't initially get the beam noise. But then having seen the land factory completes, the beam noise kicks in. Interesting. Well, I find it interesting. You probably don't find that remotely interesting. But anyway, uh, we'll take a quick look at the map here. Goodlands, you can see there's lots and lots of mass to be had in this massive crater here. Uh, typically a 4v4 map, I guess, in its native form. You can see there are four starting locations here. And uh, three channels. It's sort of almost like Badlands in a way. Uh, very similar. It's like a re-jigging, re a reformation of Badlands, if you will. Three Avenues of attack, a couple of little plateaus on each side, an area to get in behind the back of your opponents and cause problems. Uh, yeah, very interesting stuff. Let's check out how these guys opened as we go to split screen and see what their opening build orders were. Both of these guys slipping in an early air factory. Uh, Nexus utilizing the adjacency bonus on the Hydro, going to put uh, his air factory there just connecting to the eastern edge. Whereas Tagada, conversely, just, uh, well, being lazy, quite frankly, he's going to leave his up here next to the core mass. But each to their own, potatoes, potatoes, and all of that. Uh, interesting proclivity both of these guys have at the moment for Seraphim. It's featured reasonably heavy. I think we've, uh, so this is in uh, four games, we've had something like uh, is it five showings now, something like that, between them all. But uh, yeah, quite a lot. It was a, uh, I believe, a UEF Cybran game yesterday, memory serves. But still, yeah, both guys favoring the Seraphim overall. Aeon getting absolutely no love, which uh, is uh, quite correct as far as I'm concerned. Uh, Air Factory on the way for Tagada, who has been pretty instrumental with his airplay. We saw in game one the early bomber harass. Uh, and in game three, we saw the uh, the gunship pressure that he was bringing to bear, the broadsword pressure. Very nice indeed. And uh, Nexus putting a slightly less emphasis on his airplay, going for Air Factory in position five in his build order. Whereas I think it was slightly earlier, yeah. So position four there for Tagada, who's already buzzing around atop Nexus's base with an air scout getting a good old-fashioned read of what's going on there from the uh, comfort of the sky but he has got his own scout plane out now that's heading over towards Tagada's side of things uh, first at first glance it looks like these are massive reclaimable boulders but they're not they're just part of uh, 
the decolated scenery, but there is plenty of reclaim to be had on this mass from those horrendous spiky looking trees to lots and lots of stones kicking about. A few exchanges kicking off somewhere. Missed that action, but I'm sure it wasn't too essential. Nexus now pulling his comm away from his starting position over to a more easterly position here, southeast of that second natural expansion. And Thans now drifting up that eastern edge, that eastern approach from Tagada. I'm wondering if uh, Nexus's drift in that direction with his comm is informed by that movement from Tagada. He did send out an air scout earlier. Maybe he got a read on it. Interceptors tangle over the top of Nexus's base. Tagada nicely getting in behind one of those interceptors. Managing to shoot it down. And that little fam pressure being brought to bear in the east by Tagada is dissuaded from advancing any earlier. And Tagada strolling up the middle with his commander. As we've said, lots of mass to be had here. You can see the mass totals, plenty of it. Huge quantities of reclaim all round. Essentially anywhere there are dark moon sea <laughs> sections of mass is where the majority of the mass seems to lie. Majority of the reclaim. Tagada trying another assault over in the west. A modest numerical advantage. Probably won't be sustained for very long. Pressure being brought to bear meanwhile in the east from Nexus. But there's a good $125 difference between first and second place in the outcome of this match. Another attack repelled by some vigilant play from Nexus. Two Thams wailing away on a mechs in the midpoint. They're going to leave it with six po 16 hit points remaining. And then they're going to decide to move in for the kill. <laughs> it's like two shots to tidy that one up. Once again, the Thams tangle, adding yet more value to this mass field. Interceptors fly by over the top. Do let me know in the comments section, guys, if uh, you're perturbed by this format of one game a day or if you're enjoying it. Always like to hear from you. T1 bomber in over the top from Tagada picks off one engineer when there were three clumped up right by it. He's coming in for another approach but gets shot down by an eye issle before he manages to get the bomb off. Very unfortunate for Tagada. Juicy opportunity missed. Tagada advancing with his comm, stops in the middle of the fray to start work on a mechs and thinks, uh, hang on a minute, there's bad guys, kill the bad guys first. Where we are at now, eco-wise. Seems to be pretty even between these two guys. Tagata perhaps with an advantage. Hard to say, he's clearly getting a lot of reclaim in. But uh, he's certainly up overall by about a thousand. Maybe just over. Little drop to the western plateau. 
And I'm wondering if that... No, that's uh, deceptive, that. It looked the way they'd painted that as if that might have been a route up from this side. But I think that uh, is still impassable by the looks of things. Just perpetual jostling in these three avenues. Nexus and Tagada find both of their comms in the central avenue. Nexus with the initiative here at the moment as Tagada is going to drop back. We do have Tech 2 land for Tagada. I imagine at the very least we have it on the way. Oh, we do have it. Yeah, we have it for both. Tagada and Nexus now. And Nexus going for the second plateau. Also, following on from that earlier drop, he kept the transport alive and promptly worked out straight over. Now, that's interesting. Maybe they can make it up there. Because I didn't see a transport anywhere. I don't see any wrecks of any transports anywhere. Answers in the postcard if you saw what happening. There is a transport there, and it's inbound once again with yet more units. Another eight thams by the looks of things. They managed to kill the engineers in the first attack. So Tagada not happy with Nexus's ploy to secure the plateaus. He's still got to repel this little infection over here in the east. Gun upgrade on the way for Tagada. Nexus so far unupgraded. Sort of a feature of the maps actually that we've been playing. We haven't seen a huge amount of com action. We saw a decent amount early on in game one on Twin Rivers. That's to be expected but the ditch is quite far apart and Crazy Rush. Well it is just a very non-standard map so it's hardly surprising we haven't seen that much of it i'm wondering if we're going to see more com on com business going down today as this game progresses that gun upgrade completes there for tagada certainly he has a mind therefore i would imagine to use his com a little bit more aggressively here and nexus is going to respond with an upgrade of his own gun upgrade also i'm wondering if uh, he scouted tagada and that prompted his decision Big old attack, meanwhile, going down on the western approach from Nexus. But he only commits half of the units there. The other half he siphons off into the middle to help protect his commander while he's on, out on that upgrade as Tagata is posturing as if he wants to press the middle now. Seventy-two percent and climbing on that upgrade. Should be able to finish this, I would imagine. Tagada moving forward. He's got the T2 engineering suite and the gun upgrade on that com. So he has an advantage with utility and hit points against Nexus. And he's going to go straight for a T2 point defense. Can he get that online before that threat is picked up by his opponent? moving pretty quickly but the tanks are very nearby including an Ilshiva. They've spotted it. He needs to get his units in and cut this attack off. It does go online. It's got about two thirds of his hit points there. He's got an engineer up assisting it with some repairs. Nexus does not like the proximity of that point defense though and is just going to move in with his commander and take that out. Not a fighter bomber in over the top. Gets a bomb away but gets shot down. Tagada with 10 kills on the comm. Nexus with 31 about to get his second rank in veterancy. Nexus a long way away from his second has only just grabbed his first. Thought for a minute that was a wave of fighter bombers coming in on Tagada, but no they're just interceptors. And they'll get into a major air 
engagement over the top of these two commanders. Both commanders focusing on the spam of their opponents. Tagada looking very aggressive right now. We've got no great pile of fighter bombers stacking up anywhere that I can see. Tagada's moved forward over in the west but is being pushed back in the east. And the front line in the center pretty static for the time being, although Nexus might be about to drop back. Nexus at full health, 13,800 HP. Tagada, a similar amount, about 13,100 out of 14,800. Nexus ever so slightly ahead in total eco about just under 1k and nexus having pushed forward and taken out three mexes over here is going to run out of steam and drop back it's one plateau apiece. Nexus holding that one in the east. And Tagada the one in the west. Nexus up to 58 kills now with that commander. Tagada on just 19. Tagada focusing in on the Ilshivers. Needs to be careful here when he sees a huge violet blob massing in towards his commander. Has he gotten himself overexposed? He drops down into the yellow, but gets a rank in vet. It's some pl pretty clutch timing. Nexus continuing to advance in the middle, meanwhile. Still seemingly no closer to a breakthrough from either guy. Tagada gets a nice overcharge in there, takes out about four or five units. In goes another one, picks off a couple more Ilshivas. Nexus. At almost full health. He's a three-star com. Momentum seemingly with Nexus. He's pushed the front line in the middle down from here to about here. He's looking very shallow on the right. And that's because there's been a breakthrough meanwhile. Tagada steaming through with a couple of Ilshivas, but they run straight into a T1 point defense. Needs to get these units in the backfield and start assassinating some of these unprotected mass points. Also, also making a little bit of a push over in the west. Doesn't want to stand still and absorb too much Zui fire though. Needs to stay on the move. Kill loss ratio ever so slightly favoring Tagada at 1.05. T2 Mex just about picked off with like the last shot before those Zooies claim the life of that Ilshiva. Once again, forward momentum with Nexus over in the west, and there's nothing here protecting this position. We've got two-point defense. That's it. And the Zooies should be more than capable of dispatching that. That's potentially four dead mechs over in the west. Nexus, sorry, Tagada, who has drifted back to the entry point of that central canyon, is now trying to move to plug the gap, gap with his forces that were stationed in the middle. What has precipitated this huge fall off in troop numbers. Have we got a big upgrade somewhere? There's a large commitment to air production. Transport completed there and we've got some sniper bots entering service now so he has pushed up to T3 production but so has Nexus. Tagada manages to force back the units in the west, but he has lost this 
position needs to get. Engineers back over here to re-establish, and it looks like he's going to at least drop some off from that transport. Those units pushed all the way in down here. 18 minutes gone. Tagada now has some shield coverage to sit behind. He's also got a couple of sniper bots. But still, Nexus moving forward. He's taken some damage from those sniper bots down to 6,900. Needs to be careful there, but he's also got a static shield for which to run to. And he's also got his own sniper bots. So both of these guys matching each other step for step in what is becoming a very close encounter here in game four. Western approaches, territory changing hand once again in favor of Tagada, only for him to fall back in the face of inbound Otham. Tagada rolling forward. There are point defense in here. This seems like a terrible idea. What's he doing? Was this a misclick? He's losing a hell of a lot of HP. He's got no assistance. There's an inbound shield gen. A mobile shield gen trying to provide him cover. And he manages to get beneath it. But he's lost a lot of hit points. Down to 4,300. That was very close. Tagada nearly getting himself ejected from the game. An inbound hostile drop. Meanwhile picked up in the west. Tagada moves into intercept. And he manages to shoot the transport down somehow. One Zooey does make landfall. But he'll take that considering how many were about to land on his doorstep. But check out this breakthrough over in the east. Nexus just barging his way down that eastern approach. And now getting into the backfield with T2 Mexes looking very vulnerable indeed. In the face of this run by nothing in place to protect it. Nexus playing very nicely indeed. All of the units have gone from the center. He must have just picked them up and pushed them down the right-hand side while Tagada was concerned about the push over here. And he throws out the GG in the control K. Doesn't like that position, losing those T2 Mexes in the backfield. And you can't really blame him. So Nexus pulls one back and levels it at 2-2 in game four on what is a very nice reinterpretation of Badlands. I have to say kudos to whoever the map creator was there. I'm pretty sure that was a new one for Guilecast. I'm pretty sure I haven't seen it before. But very entertaining stuff nonetheless. Hope you enjoyed that, guys. Please remember, comment, like, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And if you want more content but you've seen everything, of course, the Patreon is still available, guys, just for a dollar a month. 23 casts or there or thereabouts of uh, unreleased unre content to YouTube that is privilege access stuff for just a dollar a month please go and check it out but until next time guys which will be tomorrow game five on the way do stay well and stay safe this is Guile signing out